just a quick one today we are dealing with similar sides and by definition we are saying similar sides are sides with the same radicand examples of similar sides we have 2 root 3 and the root of 3 when you look at this radicand and this one they are just the same so these two are similar sides root 5 and 6 root 5 despite them having different coefficients the radicand is the same so these two are similar sides. Similar sides will always have the same radicand. Look at this one. The coefficient here is 1, the coefficient here is 2. But the radicand here and there is just the same. We have 6. So these two are similar sides. Now how do questions come? This is how questions come. Which of the following are similar sides? Okay, so we have this one and this one. When you look at these two, there's the radicand 2 there and the radicand 2 there. Therefore, these two are similar sides. Now, what about this one? The square root of 8 and the square root of 32. Sometimes it's not always that you can know or you can identify similar sides by looking. So, we have to get this one and this one. Square root of 8 and square root of 32. Now, any perfect square that can go into 8, it is a 4. How many times? 2. Any perfect square that can go into 32? 16. How many times? 2. Okay. Now what is the square root of 4? The square root of 4 is 2, so it goes outside the square root. What remains? 2. And the square root of 16? 4. And what remains inside the square root? 2. Now let's check. We have 2 and 2. These are radicands. Despite them having different coefficients, provided the, provided the radicand is the same, they are similar. Let's look at C. C we have the square root of 2 and the square root of 3. We cannot reduce these ones any further. So we can conclude from here and say since the radicands are not the same, they are not similar sides. So these ones are not similar sides. We have the square root of 50 and the square root of 72. Let's get these two. Okay. Any perfect square that can go into 50? Yes. 25. How many times? Two times. Okay. So these will fall under the same square root. And any perfect square which can go there? 36. How many times? Two. What is the square root of 25? We have 5. What remains inside? 2. What is the square root of 36 we have 6 what remains inside 2 so the radicand is the same therefore they are similar okay now I want you to solve these two remaining questions are they similar or they are not similar so once you solve these ones we can move to the next topic okay I'm giving you two minutes perfect all right that was good that was good so the next topic is addition and subtraction of sides okay so here I just want you to note something get this strong note here you can only add or subtract similar sides okay you can only add or subtract similar sides so tomorrow we are going to continue from here have a blessed day